In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your audio and enhance its quality to make it sound clear and crisp, something that sound like this. This is the sound of Rode Anti-USB before the correction and technique. And this is the Rode Anti-USB after the correction and technique. Massive difference, right? Before we begin, it is the best to loop the audio to avoid rewinding and playing it again each time we reach the end of a clip. To do this, set the in and out point on your audio and go to the plus icon of your preview window. Find the loop playback icon, drag it to the toolbar and click it to enable it. This will save you a lot of time. Let's take a listen to the audio clip we will be fixing. This is the sound of Rode Anti-USB before the correction and technique. As you can hear, it has a few problems such as background noise, room echo and uneven levels. We will be start by removing the background noise. To do this, select your audio and make sure the essential graphic is selected in the windows. Then select the dialog box and click on the reduce noise feature under repair. Set its value to around 5. This is the sound of Rode Anti-USB before the correction and technique. And you will be noticed that it removed the background noise. However, it also dulls the audio making it sound like you are under the water. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. If you are facing audio problems like noise, echo or other issues, there is no need to worry as I have a solution for you. I use a plugin called Crumple Pop that can fix all of your audio problems in just a click. Crumple Pop is a product offered by Boris FX, a well-known company that creates amazing plugin for video editing and audio editing. You can check it out their website for more information. Crumple Pop is an audio editing plugin plugin that can remove room echo, background noise, traffic noise, wind and clipping. It also includes level matrix, popping remover and rustle remover. You can see the live example of this feature on their website which will give you a better understanding of what you will get. Spanning basically from the west side to the east side. Let's talk about good audio and how sometimes it just doesn't happen. Place where there was a lot of echo, you know, a lot of hard surfaces for the plugin is available for all the major video editing software. Here is the pricing plan. You can choose the plan that suits you best and you will get a 50% discount if you purchase through my link. I mentioned the link in the description below. Must check it out. Once you get and install the plugin, simply go to the edit. In a preference, go to the audio and click on this audio plugin manager. Scan for plugins and finally hit OK. This plugin will automatically add it in your preset panel. To access this, go to the audio effects and then in a VST3 folder where you find all of these plugins that you can use by just dragging and dropping. Start by removing background noise. Just drag audio denoise and drop it onto your audio clip. In the effects control, you will find a proper audio denoise panel. You can increase or decrease the strength of the plugin using this noob. On the right side, you will see the levels for a proper check and a balance and on the left side you will find the output strength option at the bottom you can also control low mid and high frequencies you have a complete control over this plugin and you can customize it to your need after applying crumple pop denoise it removes the noise without affecting my audio here is the result this is the sound of Rode Anti-USB before the correction and technique. To remove the echo from your audio, simply drag echo remover and drop it onto your audio. If your audio doesn't have much echo, it is best to keep the strength low to maintain its natural sound. Lastly, using the level matrix ensure that the lows and highs of your audios remain at the same level. You can increase the strength as required and your audio will be ready to go. You can also use these other plugins if needed in your audio.
Audio. Finally, I would like to apply the parameter equalizer preset in Premiere Pro. This preset includes a variety of pre-made presets. Typically, I opt for the loudness maximizer preset which effectively enhance the audio levels and increase the volume. The dot on the left side of an equalizer represents the bass level whereas the dot on the right side represents the treble. To increase the bass level, I simply drag a left dot upward. After applying all these effects, you can hear the massive difference in the audio quality. Here is the final result. This is the sound of Rode anti-USB before the correction and technique. And this is the Rode anti-USB after the correction and technique. Your audio sounds great. Now the final touch to make it perfect is to add some background music that enhance your audio and make it more energetic. I personally use Epidemic Sound for all of my videos because they have a vast library for music that allows me to find the perfect track for every situation. If I find a track that I really like, I can simply click on the find similar icon and discover more tracks like it. This saves me a lot of time and efforts. In addition to music, Epidemic Sound also offers a variety of sound effects which are incredibly useful. Just search for any sound effect that you need and there we are. Their pricing plan are affordable and if you own only one channel, you can go with a personal plan and if you own more than one channel, you can choose the commercial plan as well. Both plans offer monthly or yearly subscriptions. I mentioned the link in the description. With that link, you will get 30 days free trial. Make sure you don't miss out this opportunity. So yeah, that's all about this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and leave a comment if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.